Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on objects one of part one of module one. Uh, gonna be a lot of those, uh, one, one, one kind of deals, but that's okay. So the first problem is get property, and more people have a problem with this than almost any other problem that we go over, and it has to do with the difference between key, key, and key. So uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna start working on it, and then we're gonna go over the ways that we could mess this up. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is realize the way we access a property within an object is rather simple. It's just object at key. That's how we're going to access it. That's the expression. So we'll just return object at key. Run the test and we do it correctly. Now a lot of people are accidentally going to do one of two things. They're going to do this and they're going to get the wrong answer or they're going to do this object dot key and again they're gonna get the wrong answer now what you want to consider happening here is we have two distinct sections this is the definition of the function and in the definition of the function we're dealing with parameters which are essentially well not essentially they kind of work the way variables do meaning that object is going to represent some object somewhere and key is going to represent some key somewhere however in this example which is different than the definition, we actually have an object called obj, and we have a key that's spelled k-e-y. So with that in mind, we want to consider that when we say object at key, that is because the name of the object is obj, and the name of the key is actually k-e-y. Let's go ahead and open up the console, and we'll mess around with a different object just for a moment. So what you just saw was actually the local tests running, which we don't need to worry about. Let's say a variable, uh, Hmm, dessert. And we'll create an object that actually has some substance to it. So dessert, maybe we'll have uh, um, type. Mm, now we'll say contents will be a string that says ice cream. And maybe, now we want a comma there. Let's say eh, price. And we'll say it's free because it's just that kind of a day. So now we have our dessert object. We're also going to want to write our function get property, and we're going to want to write it correctly. So it's written correctly like this. So we've loaded both of those in there. Now, let's say that we want to say something like what we're doing here, because these are essentially like our tests. So if we say variable output is equal to get property, our function we just wrote, and we want the object's name to be dessert and we want the key name to be a string version of one of our keys. So let's say contents. I'm gonna hit shift and enter, which will let me write two lines on here. I'm gonna console.log the output. So when I run that, I get ice cream. Let's go ahead and adjust our function. Instead of object at key, we're gonna say object dot key. So we'll get back to our variable output is equal to get property. So we've written it this way. The problem is going to be is that it's not going to try to find a key that is the name of this key parameter. It's actually gonna look inside of whatever object we pass in, in this case dessert, and it's gonna to try to find a key that's actually spelled K-E-Y. Since there is none, we log undefined to the console. So this helps us understand, hopefully, that we need to make sure that we're not saying object dot key, but rather object at key, because at key will allow us to reference the input object at the input key. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more into that as we do more of these problems, but that is going to come up over and over again, so it never hurts to get a couple of introductions to it. And run our test again, and we're good. So adding a property. Adding a property is as simple as accessing the object at the given key, and then assigning that to whatever we want. So in this case, they want us to set a value equal to true. This line here, where it's calling the function and it's not assigned to anything, tells us quite clearly that we don't need to return anything from this function. So now that we've added to the input object at the input key a value of true, we should be good. And we are. Remove a property. This is another one of those. There's an operator. It's called delete. When you use the delete keyword, well, I'll just show you how to use it. We say delete space. Then we access the value of the object using object at key again. And this will this will actually uh, delete the entire property. Uh, I think there's actually a way around this too. You might notice that we had undefined up here when it says object.name. 
So we you know, say remove property of the object at name. So we're removing this entire property. And then when we console.log object at name, we get undefined. So theoretically, we could just say object at key is equal to undefined, and we'll get the same result. However, it is important to know that there is a keyword called delete, and then it works like this. Delete space object at key, and that's going to get rid of it. So that's it for objects, at least for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.